Thank but, you. Um, Can you pull up Exhibit 1817, please? This is um, a picture that you were showed shown this morning, Mr. Depp. Yes, sir. And you kind of made some illustrations on the picture and, and gave your account of what you see here. Mr. Depp, you testified previously that the vodka bottle that you allege cut off your finger was a handle of vodka, correct? Um, yes. You've already testified the to that. The second correct? bottle there was a handle on that bottle, right. yes. This bottle, whatever it is, to the extent it's glass at all, that's in the corner of this room, that's not a handle of vodka. Objection calls for speculation. Um, I think oh, you'll find that I said two bottles. Mm -hmm. Well, was, actually, um, what, what you testified to this morning, Mr. Depp, was that the bottle in the corner was the handle. And there is no other no, bottle no. in the picture, is there? No, that's not what I testified. I testified that... May I touch the screen? Yes. This... Is glass. This is glass. Yep. And that's not a handle. Neither of those are handles of vodka. It's that big. It's broken. The handles of the top on those vodka bottles, mm -hmm. sir. Yeah. I mean, and none. If you if you combine all that glass on the floor, that doesn't make up the amount of glass in a handle of vodka, does it? Objection calls for speculation. I, I'm, I'm not a. You know, it, it, when there's objection. Hold on. Uh, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. There is no picture of a handle of vodka broken on that floor, is there, Mr. Depp? Mr. Depp. No, I don't see it. I see glass under this chair here. Okay. Well. You testified um, this morning that you did see it, so it's good to get that clarification. Let's move no, on. I didn't say I saw a handle. Um, you also testified this morning that, <laughs> you, you, yeah, and I want to get this, I want to make sure that we're, we're on the same page here. You testified earlier this morning that there was no phone in the bar area downstairs. Is that what you testified to? Uh, I don't recall a phone in the bar area. Okay. I don't recall, I, I don't recall a Bakelite phone in the bar area where I... Okay. No. Let's let's pull up um, Michelle, please. The UK day three, page four twenty one. Mr. Depp, we've <laughs> we've we've done this drill before. This is your testimony from the UK, correct? Can I please have? It's this. We don't have copies for everyone. It's on the screen. Your right Honor, there. may I please? I would like to have what he, he's the testimony of the witness. Here, you can have my copy. Thank Mr. Depp, you remember giving testimony in the UK trial for several days, correct? Okay, so yeah, okay, yeah. Yep. So and I do it, remember a telephone in the bar area, and this yeah, well, I, I'm, the, was made the, of bacon. This is my turn to do this, Mr. Depp. I'm sorry. On page 421, line 19, you were asked the question, and this telephone that you picked up was made of. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go go up one. The line 15. Question. At one stage, when you were in the kitchen screaming at Ms. Heard, you picked up a wall-mounted telephone. Do you remember a telephone in the kitchen? Answer. No, ma'am. I remember a telephone in the bar area. Question. And this telephone that you picked up was made of Bakelite. Do you know what I mean by that? A retro telephone. Wall-mounted, but retro. Answer. It was a wall-mounted telephone, but it was not Bakelite. It was a modern phone. It was plastic. Question. A phone that was a wall-mounted phone that was picked up. Can you scroll down, please? Question. A phone that was a wall-mounted phone that was picked up by you, held in your right hand, and you were repeatedly smashing it against the wall in your right hand. Answer. That is possible. But I do not, if that is the case, I do not believe I spent very much time on the phone. I remember ripping the phone off the wall. That was your testimony, correct? It seemed it would be yes. Thank you. I answer my question. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Depp. You've you've claimed before. You've said if I'm angry and I've got to lash out or hit somebody, I'm going to do it, and I don't care what the repercussions are. Anger doesn't pay rent. It's got to go. It's got to be evicted. You've said that before, haven't you? Have you? A quote from me somewhere saying that? It's my question to you. You've said that before, haven't you? Well, actually, let's refresh your recollection. Can you pull up um, the Ghost in the Machine article, please? 
possibly about paparazzis. <laughs> Mr. Depp, you see the picture of you um, on the lower left. Yes. appears to be shirtless and wearing a crown, I, I believe. The, you see the long paragraph above that that starts with, in the Mark Hotel? Ah, yes, you yes. See that? yes at, at the bottom of that, um, does this refresh your recollection that you said, I have a lot of love inside me and a lot of anger inside me as well. If I love somebody, then I'm going to love them. If I'm angry and I've got to lash out or hit somebody, I'm going to do it and I don't care what the repercussions are. Anger doesn't pay rent. It's got to go. It's got to be evicted. Did I read that right? You did read that right, yes. Thank you. You can take that down, Michelle, please. Now, Mr. Depp, you've also claimed that um, You've said before that if, if you want to be with a woman sexually, that she is rightfully yours, haven't you? Could you repeat that? And you've also said that with Could you repeat that, please? Yeah, yeah, that if you want to be with a woman sexually, that she is rightfully yours. That's ludicrous. You've also said that with respect to women that you want to be with, you've remarked, I need, I want, I take, haven't you? Equally as ludicrous, no. Can you pull up DX883, please? You can pull it what you like. I've never said those words. Okay. There's not enough hubris in me to say eight, anything eight, like eight, that. 883? 883, Your Honor. It's not, DX, is it empty? It is not admitted yet. Okay, 883. Mr. Depp, these are text messages from you to Stephen Duders on February 22nd, 2017, correct? Um. This, no, this looks nothing like me. You might have mistaken. Uh, Mr. Depp, we can show the full unredacted. You've looked at a number of text messages in this case, and the words him as the identifier, that's you, correct? In every text message we've seen in this case. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. It yeah. still doesn't mean it hasn't been screwed with. That's not anything that I've ever said or written. You want to see the whole the whole thing unredacted? We can look at that too. No, it's because you could have typed it up last night. No. Yeah. I can assure you I didn't type it up last night, Mr. Depp. Your Honor, I'd move for the admission of Exhibit 883. All right. Any objection? Uh, objection on relevance grounds, Your Honor. All right. Well, do you want to approach for a moment? Yes. Let's take a look. All right, 883 in evidence as redacted. Thank you. Mr. Depp, are, you're aware that these are text messages. You, you can see the bottom right where it says Depp and then it has a number, 8129. Those are produced by you in this litigation. You understand that, right? I understand that. Okay. All right, Michelle, could you please, let's take a look at the top text first. Mr. Depp, on February 22nd, 2017, you texted Mr. Duders, right, exactly. Molly's pussy is rightfully mine. Should I not just bust in and remove its hinges tonight? Did I read that right? You read it right. And the one beneath that, 
you say, I want to change her understanding of what it is like to be thrashed about like a pleading mackerel. And then in all caps, you write, I need, I want, I take. Did I write right? You read it right. But, but I did not write that. Okay. Perhaps someone else. You wrote every other phone. text that you produced that came from you in this litigation, didn't you? Not necessarily. Okay. Sometimes you give your people, your phone to people, and they now, text Now, when you strong. got off that plane Excuse me? Um, from Boston, I'm sorry. So when you got off the plane from Boston, you, you, you knew Miss Heard was angry with you, didn't you? It was pretty much a given. Objection, okay. calls for speculation. And you understood her to be angry, right? She was always angry, yes. And you asked Mr. Duders, same person, you can take this down, Michelle, please, thank you. Same person that you texted in that last exhibit. You asked Mr. Duders to communicate with her on your behalf, correct? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll have to explain. You asked Mr. Duders to communicate with Ms. Hurd by text to speak to her about the incident, correct? About what incident? To speak to her about the plane flight. The Didn't plane plane? The Boston plane. The Boston plane? Yeah. So you're saying that I uh, influenced Mr. Duders, I told him that he had to write this and I had to, told him that he had to write that, is that what you're saying? No, no, it wasn't uncommon for Mr. Duders to text, to, to communicate with Ms. Hurd on your behalf, correct? Objection calls for speculation. Um, it, oh. He was your personal assistant. Mr. Duders was your personal assistant, correct? I had two personal assistants um, right. at the time. He was one of them, right? Yeah, Mr. Duders was one of them, yes, sir. Right, and, and it wasn't uncommon for you to ask Mr. Duders to communicate with Ms. Hurd on your behalf, correct? Um, it wasn't uncommon for any of them to communicate uh, with Ms. Hurd on my behalf if I were on set or... or, or unavailable or any or, of that or if or if Miss Heard were, and you had had a fight you would sometimes have them to communicate with Miss Heard on your behalf correct I think my crew caught on very quickly that just a, just a yes or would no, be no. necessary for them to no just a yes or no it was not uncommon Objection, after you and Miss Heard had I'd ask that he'd be allowed to finish his answer. Yes or no question, Your Honor. All right. Go ahead and ask your question. Thank you, Your Honor. It wasn't uncommon for you to have one of your personal assistants communicate with Ms. Hurd after you and her had a fight. I disagree because you're insinuating that I had them do it, and you don't know that. After the Boston plane flight, you had Mr. Duders communicate with Ms. Hurd, correct? When I'm asked what to do, I said placate or just placate.